Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. My name is Cooper Wheeler, and who's this gentleman? Is that Arthur? You can't even recognize him, can ya? Let us on! Yes, I did a lot of missions without you guys, I'm sorry. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. What? Good it's just skip. The table's await. I didn't I'll go skip. find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You see, I'm sure oh, a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, hmm. sir. How you been, people? Where's Strauss? Good evening, gentlemen. Dodge! Arthur Callahan. Sorry, I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Fly. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not Desmond Bly, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Did I lose? I should have looked at my cards. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time man, to see if bitch. you're really the man you seem to think you are. Hmm. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in the whole suit, oh, wow. but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Interesting. Pair of cowgirls. Nine. Me. Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why, I got a watch. Look That's not you. Dutch, is it? An expensive one, real fine. I Swiss. can't tell because if it's a Rottlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It looked it's like worth Dutch. more than you. Okay, I just now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. Let's not waste any more time here. All in. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Come on, Strauss. I have two kings. Pair of kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. What? Uh-oh. Yes, 
Yeah! Beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blind. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! N no offense. None take. Well played, sir. Unlucky Desmond. Now, Is that Dutch? Forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Well, perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yes, I am. Yeah, so far. Was that Dutch, though? I could I not tell. I believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. You want I've me to beat you up right now? i little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. Hey. Yeah, I know, I know. I have to be I like that you're to going to like fit in. Watch, sir. I saw better be nice. And it really is a handsome piece. It better be a me, Jesse James watch. You can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. It better be a rough play for Jesse second, James. Sir. Of course, take your time. <clears throat> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. Someone definitely heard that. Oh, shit. Let's hope no one heard that. Quick, clear the safe. Let's get out of here. Oh, please take the pocket watch. Arthur. Here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Yes. Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. This now is my watch. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Someone gonna come out of there? We don't know what's going on, sir. And Where? How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, I want give one. Anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. Mm -hmm. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. <laughs> you boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> Ah, look, there's your friend. My friend is not a gnome. She and I beg you to take back the insinuation. Yeah, that's not Dutch. Dutch. There Doesn't it look is. like Dutch? Now, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> ah! Come on, Arthur! Take one of the hats. Do not let him leave here. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm gonna suggest. I don't know this. I don't know this. 
see my show! Silly me, I clean forgot to bring my gondola. Yeah, but what about the alligators, though, for real? Yes, I get to keep the hat. And the rival. Yes, I kept the hat. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. I thought it was a couple Pretty thousand. good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Yeah, it apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss. A, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. Hmm. All right. Come on, let's get out of here. We'll give it back then. <laughs> Me and Arthur do love ourselves some pocket watches. I actually have one in real life. I've had several pocket watches. I have t I have had two. One of them got lost. Ah, oh, my hat. What? Hmm. Okay, sorry, I just had to turn off my microphone for a second. Dang it. I I think this horse might be taller than a Shire. Arthur. Melvin? Arthur! Up here! Mary Mary! You Forgot came. about her. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. What are you two looking at? Arthur. Hello, Mary. You came. Sure. Whenever you call for me, I'll come. Oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but, but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than... Than, than me? Than the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. Mm -hmm. But your code is... Well, it's not right. Has your way been right, Mary? Exactly. You? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies. And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling. Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? Oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Uh. Help, Mary. Come along, Dan. Where are we going? What's the old lovable patriarch been up to now? Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm's beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, the fill. So, well, I like my horse. Think he's up to? I'm not sure. It's a, he keeps um, saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Yeah, I was about Arthur. to say. 
sanding. It wasn't Jesus. always this way. Um, but I, I don't know. It has it's got fun. worse. He's drinking oh, and I, I see where it is. Pawning things off left and right. Mixing with bad people. I'm just scared for him. Don't worry too much. Whatever it is, we'll work it out. This is the place. But this is... The stables. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. Oh wait. Is he, is he gonna up. be dead? Scream if you need any help. Very funny. You can't stand there. What in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on the lady. The fine lady. Just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. I make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please come home. You're tired, Daddy. Tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. Is he gonna like punch her or Damn something? Nuisance. Excuse me, partner. Still as charming as ever, I see. Oh, Arthur. He's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. This way. Let's lasso him. Let's lawsuit him. He went around the corner. I see that. No, put that down, Arthur. What? Oh. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. What? We'll just follow the smell. Arthur, come on. He just went between those crates. What's gonna happen? He's gonna come around and try to come here. <laughs> Quick. Mind where you go. Mind where you go. Sorry? Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. You say what did you say to me? I didn't say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's dangerous. He's heading across the road. No, this is kind of fun. I didn't realize I was here to impress anyone. He just went left down that alleyway. What's I can see that. Let's go find out. Don't say I never show you a good time. I'm just glad you're here. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals, or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. 
Here's the money. <laughs> mm, that is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. He's gonna it's smash it. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not a place to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. You don't understand. Mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. I'm going to hurt somebody. Get up, Thunder! Get back here. At least I got Thunder. The fastest horse ever. Careful, Thunder. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? What do you take me for? Okay, okay. Uh, I'm a reasonable man. Let's say fifty. Not good enough, Ashton. Okay, Jesus! Twenty-five dollars, that's my final offer. Here. Here, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Nobody's gonna pay for this. Sorry, I'll make sure I dump you in a place where the gators won't get ya. There you go. Oh, 
Wait, no, 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 not the Shire, not the Shire. I'm gonna... Gonna use this. Boom, 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 boom. Here we go. Bun, dun, 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 dun. There we go. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. I could. Let's take a walk. Yeah, let's take, take a walk. Take you to the trolley. Yeah. Thank you. I thought you left. Forever. Yeah. Got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Hey. What are you doing now? Right mm. this moment. Why, yes. <laughs> well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Mm-hmm. Head to the theater, perhaps. Yeah. Theater? Me? Let's see a movie. Head to the cinema. How about here on the right? Sure. After you. Since Nero himself, do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just as start a now. Are you in a rush, Arthur? Show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your curiosity: fire, snakes, and magic. I encourage any of you to dabble in all three if you have a settled aversion to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will yeah, see you through the it. winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky! Oh, there's the missile to say, wait, where's the mist? Thank you for joining us. Woo. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. Yeah. But 
know was 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 that it? I'll go anywhere, shoot. Thank you. Oh, flawless, perfect. Oh, I see you. You you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes, she's pure spectacle, and I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother most likely told you not to play with fire, or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanserino. She about to have, like, fire thing? Stop it. <laughs> wow. This is the best. Whoa. Away from the curtain. Yes. Come on, fire lady. <laughs> fire lady. Come on, Arthur. Make your move. Uh, won't let me make a move. Y'all see this? What happens if I go like boo? It's time, make your move. Come on, square. Oh, don't burn yourself. How long is this? Okay, I'm going to leave this episode here. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here and find out what happens next. Because next, I'm going to do a live stream. So, and this is where the curtains must close and that's the video if you liked it punch the like button in the face and if you want more red dead redemption 2 content like this oh, then subscribe to my channel to bring home to mother it is said that there is a place in france where the naked ladies dance i have been there. Prepare for the body braziers.